In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to load any of my texture brushes that are Photoshop brushes. I'm going to show you how to load those into Affinity Designer or Affinity Photo for iPad. So let's start out on our desktop here and I've got the new Plastisol textures and you'll see a brush folder called Brushes Photoshop Affinity. These contain Photoshop brushes and the good thing about Photoshop brushes is they work in Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo. So the easiest way to load these if you have a Mac is to drag the uh, brushes into the iCloud drive. So I can go here and I'm going to hold on Option just so I keep my copy on my desktop and I've dragged that over into my I iCloud drive. If you're on a PC and you don't have iCloud, what you can do is you can use a Dropbox folder or you can use iTunes transfer. So if you open up your iTunes, you'll want to click on this little iPad icon and then go into file sharing. And then we go into Affinity Designer and we can drag that brush file over. And we want to make sure to drag over the 5K brushes, not the 2500 pixel brushes because Affinity Designer can handle the 5K brushes. So there's no need for the lower resolution ones. So now let's go into Affinity Designer for iPad. Let's go into Pixel Persona mode. So click on that. And then in your brushes, what you're going to want to do is click on this little tab right here and then go to Import Brushes and we can either choose the iCloud brushes or if I go to on my iPad, these are the ones that we transferred via iTunes uh, transfer. Or if we had Dropbox, uh, we could go into Dropbox. But I'm just going to load these. And it may take a second for these to load, but if you go up here, you can go to, you can see the uh, Plastisol 5K brushes are in here. And these are 5K brushes, but it looks like Affinity is maxing them out at 4K. So that may just be a limitation of the software. But anyway, let's go into our layers. And what I want to do is I'll show you how to use one of these brushes. So let's go ahead and let's make a new group, a new empty group. And I'm just going to drag that to the very top. And all these little pieces of this logo, this logo is from Logo Design Master Collection, which is a separate uh, bundle I have. But just to demonstrate this, let me go ahead and I'll drag in these pieces of that logo into this group. And now what I want to do is let's make a mask layer. And let's go to our brush tool and I'm going to pick Plastisol number three and we should just be able to paint black into that mask and it'll make a transparent texture. This isn't the kind of brush that you want to brush in. It's just one that you tap and let's try a different one here. Let's go try Plastisol four. I think that looks good. Let's try one more. And just to show you that these uh, textures are transparent, let's go back to regular vector mode and I will make a new layer, new vector layer, and I'm going to put that below the group and let's put a rectangle behind it and let's change that color to like a blue. And now you can see that texture is transparent and it goes through our design. And this whole process I've just shown you will work also in Affinity Photo essentially the same way. And that's how to get the brushes working in Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo for iPad.